Yo, Elliot. We got this question from one of our buddies who lives in Ireland. He's, uh, he's following a 5x5 training routine, so he's squatting several times a week. He's finding that as his squat grows in strength, there's an imbalance between his right leg and his left. The left leg keeps getting bigger, stronger, thicker than the left leg. And it's creating a situation where he, he's further facilitating what's already an imbalance. And he starts coming up out of the squat, being able to straight, straighten one leg and not the other until later. And that's all, it's frustrating, but it, he also realizes that it's starting to wear on his body. It's creating a, a situation where there's ultimately going to be chronic pain. Right now it's just frustration, but if it continues, it, you know, you're going to screw yourself up. So what the hell do I do? This is why I often talk about multiple layers of strength. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to talk about a few things here that are the root, the core issues that you need to be concerned with outside of the simple answer that you'll probably get or expect, which is, well, just train your left leg a little bit more. You know, if it was that simple, don't you think people would do it? I really don't think people are so stupid that they would ask a question like that and not realize, oh, maybe I should do a little bit more with my left. And maybe, maybe there is some ignorance there and you just didn't know that. But chances are that has not been working and I know that doesn't work for a lot of people. A lot of you guys send me emails where you're like, my right arm stronger than my left and I do lots of extra stuff on my left, but it just won't grow stronger. Our friend is experiencing that with his legs. What could possibly be going on that won't allow the typical stretch and strengthen corrective exercise modalities to support you in becoming more balanced, right? Because a lot of the stuff is kind of, it's almost too simple, right? When I start describing which muscles are overdeveloped in relation to the other ones that are underdeveloped, well, just train the ones that are underdeveloped and stretch the ones that are overdeveloped. Or if you've got a left to right imbalance, which is a bit more tricky, because they're the exact same types of muscle, right? You got a right quad and a left quad, a left glute and a right, a right glute and a left glute. If there's an imbalance between the two of them, it's like, well, well, why don't you just train the other one a little bit more? It's not that simple all the time. What I want you to recognize is that a part of the reason why I always use that term neuromuscular system is because the muscular system, the muscles, are innervated by nerves. Nerves are like tiny little brain communicators, right? They communicate afferently and efferently with your central nervous system, right? So your muscular system isn't, your muscle, is, your bicep isn't just a bicep. It's also a brain, right? Your peripheral nervous system innervates that muscle. And it, it drops down and innervates both sides of your body. So you've got central command and then you've got the, the nerve endings, the, the nervous system, peripheral nervous system, that goes out and talks to your shoulder, your traps, your shoulders, your arms, your hands, your legs, your, you know, each glute. It, it just, it, it talks to the whole body that way, right? So your muscles aren't just muscles, they're brain muscles. They're, they're body, brain, mind, body. The whole thing's integrated. So when you've got problems with your muscle, you, gotta, you really have to consider what's going on at the neurological level. Always. Muscular problem, go one step back. Physiological, right? And this is why I've got layers of strength. Energetic or psychological. What's going on? And the way I approach these situations where, that would seem like they should have simple answers is to take a step back. Wait a second. Okay, neuromuscular problem. Let's look at the nervous system, right? Because we can very easily manipulate the muscle from the outside with different exercises and stretches. Cool. Doesn't always work. What's going on at the nervous system level? So. I've mentioned this in other videos, but you've got to recognize that if you consider the cerebral cortex, what's going on in your head brain as central command, right? Because there's a lot of shit going on in there, right? We've got th three distinct types of brains in there, or, or even more, but you know, I usually use, I consider the neocortex, cortex medulla. And it drops down through that medulla into the brain stem, down into your body, and then from the brain stem, right? From that stem, right? Interesting. We've got the brain, a brain stem in our body. It's, in our, it's rooted in our body, it branches out to the peripheral nervous system and areas. Now, it would be one thing if you just had that nervous system, the brain, its stem, and its nervous system, and the muscles that are associated with it. But you also have this casing around it called your skull and spine, and your spine, right? You got vertebrae that encases this whole thing. So you've got this very highly sensitive machinery or computer very sensitive computer, right? It drops down into your body and it's encased by vertebrae. If at any point within that column of vertebrae 
the vertebra, right, one of the little bones there, becomes subluxed, right? A lot of people don't like when I talk about this it, because it's been lined up with quackery, right? For, for whatever reason, probably because it's an empowering form of understanding as opposed to a disempowering form of understanding, which means you have a syndrome and you need surgery. Shit that I teach you or talk about is more empowering and the, and the powers to be don't want you to be empowered because then it, it's a power trip, power struggle. When you're personally powerful and you understand your body, now no one can fool you. So anyway, so that's why I share these ideas. If the, case, if the casing is sublux, there's something that happened at the muscular level, neuromuscular level, that's causing one of the bones to move or shift, then you're gonna have miscommunication with, your, with the computer. You've got one vertebrae, and this is what I'm gonna invite you to do, to look at, study. Go to my blog, hullstrength.com, and search Atlas. And I've, I've done interviews, I've got videos, I have an entire course that stems from this particular idea called advanced neuromuscular strength. The entire thing is about figure out what's going on with the, at the neuromuscular, at the ner nervous le level, the nervous system level, and then work to correct muscular imbalances. You've got one vertebrae right at the base of your skull. So you can imagine central command, your brain, right? It drops down in, through the fossa, right? Down into the spinal cord. But you've got one vertebrae called your atlas. The atlas is a very interesting vertebrae because it's, it, it's not locked in like the other ones. The other ones have these spiny processes where they lock in and they help each other stay aligned. The atlas floats. Look at an anatomy book. It's not really attached to anything. It floats and it has a high susceptibility to floating out of position, especially if the muscles around the neck here get damaged or, or become tense. And how many of us have neck tension, right? From walking and behaving and moving and carrying shit in a dysfunctional fashion to just fucking stress. And it moves the atlas out. Now, you could just imagine how sensitive this spinal cord is. If the atlas, the very first one, is off just a little bit and it's, it's touching the, the, the spinal cord. It's touching that highly sensitive nerve and not allowing for full distribution from the left to right, right? Because it's, it's, it's dysfunctional, it's moved out of position. So you're gonna come out, you're gonna come out of your, you're gonna get all the energy that comes out of your nervous system, but it's going to be in balance. And you're gonna get like 40% energy over here, 60% over, over here instead of 50-50. Right? The energy should be coming out and you should be even. But you're getting 40 and you get 50. And then you know what happens? As you train your body with 40% on the right, 50% on the, 60% uh, on the left, excuse me, it's lunchtime, so I keep mumbling. That imbalance grows into the muscle. So it's, first it's the nervous system, but then it grows into the muscle and it grows bigger and bigger and bigger. And that deficit just continues to grow. So, I've had this experience before where I'm deadlifting and the right leg is stronger than the left. And what I've done is I've gone and gotten my atlas checked and adjusted and the next day I'm deadlifting more weight and I'm pushing evenly through both legs. Look, there's lots of scientific research out there. Do your own fucking research. I give you my experience and the things that I know, that, I, that I've, I've read, right? I'm not that smart. But I invite you from, from a place of empathy and compassion, that's why I make these videos, investigate this idea. Because if your nervous system is giving an imbalanced feed from left to right because there's a simple overlooked imbalance due to a subluxed vertebrae at the base of your skull, very simple thing, right? It's not like normal chiropractic where you have to go back every, every week for the rest of your life for them to crack the shit out of you. You get your atlas adjusted, everything else sorts of fall right into place. And, you, and really, like when I go and see my upper cervical specialist, Dr. Dr. Stan, who's here in St. Pete. So when people come to see me and, uh, and I do an assessment, and this has happened, I mean, I wish I carried more testimonials, but I've had guys come to me and uh, they look like this. They're completely imbalanced. I say, you know what? Before we even do anything, go to Dr. Stan. Get your atlas checked and adjusted. And they show back up the next day like this. Oh, you're not, you're not imbalanced anymore. You're even. It's because it's that, it's that fucking powerful. Look, I know I'm ranting in this video. But if you want to see if, you're, if you literally have this imbalance, this, this sublux atlas, try this test. Close your eyes and march in place. Just close your eyes and march up and down. 
right? Do that for about a minute, and if you end up like this a minute later, there's a good chance that you've got that muscular imbalance, that neuromuscular imbalance. Because you've got one leg doing one thing and the other one doing the other, and you end up, you know, turning, turning around instead of facing forward and doing that. So have that checked out, dude. Look, you're going to keep training with this imbalance and you're going to be frustrated if you don't go to the root of the problem. You don't go to the root issue. That's what I try to share with you through these videos, the root issue. The root issue is an imbalance in your nervous system, probably because of a sublux atlas. That's it. Do your research. Done. Yo, Elliot.